You're watching ABC4 News. Welcome back, everybody. Today we are talking about the path to end Alzheimer's. Laura Wall is joining us She's from the Utah's Alzheimer Association. She is the development director. Laura, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. We're so happy to have you. And we're talking about Alzheimer's awareness and, and how to end it because the longest day is a significant day in the fight against Alzheimer's. So kind of tell us what the plan is. Well, the longest day is one of my favorite campaigns that we ever do. Because if you know, well, you know somebody with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease, mm -hmm. you know that every day for them is the longest day. And for a caregiver of somebody with Alzheimer's, every day is the longest day. The longest day, yeah. So the longest day is a way to honor and remember and share the story of your person with Alzheimer's disease. It's like the greatest thing ever. You can do it any time of year. You go to alz.org slash TLD and share their story with us. If they love to bake, put a picture of your person baking and then do a bake sale. That's what I'm doing. We're having a bake sale next Tuesday because my mother-in-law is in the throes of Alzheimer's and she used to be a great baker and now she doesn't remember how to make anything. I wanna remember the happy times. I wanna remember how she was. And so that's why we're doing this in her honor. And you could do anything you want. If it's grilling or playing tennis or playing bridge or even rocking in a rocking chair, Share your story with us at, on the longest day and year round so that we can celebrate and remember our people with Alzheimer's. Oh, I love that. Okay, here's a couple more ideas from some friends of ours on what you can do for the longest day. You can go golfing. Do some comedy. Travel to Portugal. You can read a book. Or play poker. Cook up a big pot of food and invite everybody round. I'm gonna be in my garden thinking about my dad and my Aunt Rose. I'm gonna ride my bicycle. My family and I are going to do cartwheels. I'm going to sing Danny Boy at least once because it's my mother's favorite song. Together, we'll raise funds and awareness for care and support. While advancing research toward the first survivor of Alzheimer's. Show your love and help end Alzheimer's. Okay, Laura, some other great ideas right there. This is so important and such a, a big step, just as they mentioned there, to find a cure because unfortunately, no one survives Alzheimer's. So nope. let's talk about why this is such an important thing to talk about, why it's important to raise funds and why we cannot forget about this fight. Well, uh, we know Alzheimer's and any dementia is terribly isolating. People don't wanna talk about it. It's scary, it's awful. We don't have any way to cure or prevent it yet. So people would really rather avoid it. But we can never end Alzheimer's if we don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. And since we are all affected, one out of three of us, we'll end up with Alzheimer's disease. We must talk about it every day, all the time. It's all I do. And so we've got to normalize it. This is nobody's fault. Nobody's like, ooh, I'm going to get Alzheimer's and act weird today. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a genetic problem. You get it and we've just got to deal with it. And so let's talk about it and let's remember the happy times. This is not a happy disease. No. So let's remember the happy times with the longest day and whether it's even, knitting or sewing or hiking, whatever it is, celebrate your person on the longest day and let's turn that hard thing into a wonderful thing. So a very important campaign that we can all be a part of, but while I have you here, I think it's so important to talk about the services that your group offers to the caregivers, because while this is so much about the person with the dementia with Alzheimer's, the people around them are, are so impacted as well. So in just a few moments while we have you here, let's talk about some of the resources and the help that you guys offer to them. I'm so glad you asked, because what we hate to hear is, oh, I wish I'd known about you when my mom was still alive. We are here, we're here 24 seven. You can call our 800 number. We've got master's level social workers on call. They'll ask an answer any question. They'll talk you through anything you gotta do. We have support groups. We have education classes. We're here. This is all we do is help people dealing with Alzheimer's and any other dementia. And when you say you're here, you're here locally. It, it's your neighbors, it's the community rallying together to really help each other out in such a difficult situation. Yep. Thanks so much for joining us. For the longest me. day, we're all gonna celebrate in our own special way. Information on how you can get involved, how you can help the cause all online at alz.org forward slash Utah. You of course can get that from our website, abc4.com. Thanks for all you do. We Thank appreciate you. it. Loved and it. we'll be right back.